Hey everyone, Mr. Tass here at the Mr. Tass 3D Print Shop. I am super excited today to do this unboxing video. I submitted an application to be part of a Creality uh, program and they were sending out laser engraver and cutters. Um, the first 10 respondents got a 10 watt unit, uh, the next 40 got a 5 watt unit, and the last uh, 100 got a 1.6 watt unit. Um, the difference in watts just means the harder materials you can cut, the thicker, things that way. I was one of the top 10. So I have a 10 watt laser cutter and engraver here that is going to be a lot of fun to test and play with, um, to make some different items and to add some items to this sh shop, hopefully. So let's get into it. Um, the box itself, nice black box on the back. It's got their uh, social type connections, createality.com. And it is a 2023 upgraded Createality. So I was super excited to be selected and uh, let's just, let's do this. So in the box, it comes with a nice manual, which will tell you um, what comes in the package. You can see here, um, the laser, the control module, all the different parts. And then it also tells you how to install it, um, which I am planning on making a series of videos. So I will make some additional videos on uh, how to install it and uh, some fun with making a project, hopefully. Got some ideas about materials. I am ready to go. Tells here different models that it's compatible with, all of the Ender 3 models, um, also the CR10 and the CR10 Mini. And uh, how to go from uh, printer to laser or laser to printer and back. So that's the manual. I'm going to keep this aside with the parts just so we can make sure we're talking about the right parts. So inside it comes with three um, boards here that you can use to engrave or cut things out on. Um, you can see the thickness there, not too thick, so it should cut through that pretty easily. And we've got a power brick, and that power brick is 24 volt, 3 amp, 72 watts. Um, this way it doesn't overtax your printer because it is all self-controlled. We have the control box. So this is the brains of the operation. This takes over in place of your 3D printer's uh, uh, panel. So it's got a power switch, it's got an SD card slot, USB-C, and a power connection. And these are the cables that will connect into your 3D printer. They give you a nice USB-A to USB-C cable to connect from your computer so you can send over the print jobs. This is the metal bracket. Um, and I'll put it over here so you can see it a little better. There you go. Uh, the metal bracket. So this is designed so you can keep your print head in place where it's at. And this attaches onto the back of it. And then you can connect in. So you can swap between a 3D printer and the laser engraver fairly quickly and simply is the goal. Here is the laser itself. Read the security statement. Because, you know, lasers. And literally, if it can cut through acrylic and wood, it can cut through other things. So be careful. So here's the laser itself. It has a little sliding rail, so it'll slide onto here, and then you'll lock it into place. Has a uh, the control there, has a fan to help blow away, and you can see there is laser and uh, heat sinks all around it. Looks very nice. This is a guard, eye guard, probably. And then we've got uh, installation tools, micro uh, SD, and this is a cool item that they give, um, which I haven't seen other laser printers, but this is a leveling tool. So this tells you the cutting and engraving thickness. So engraving cutting thickness for uh, basswood that's one to three millimeters, four to six millimeters, or seven to eight millimeters. So that will help set your level right. And it comes with some nice little protective glasses for your eyes. Uh, they're green kind of color. I don't know if that quite comes in. I'm going to move this box over. So that's all of the parts that come in the box. So it's a little better to see them. Glasses. We've got our laser. It's magnetic. So that's nice. So you can remove that if you need to get to the laser. It also does have a plastic coating that I'll remove from here. So the laser, our control panel, power supply, USB, we've got boards, we've got a bracket, we've got a manual, and we've got components. 
So that is everything that is in the box. I am going to do a secondary video that is the actual installation of all these items. But let's go check um, Createality's website real quick. So it's createality.com. They carry all sorts of different products. They are 3D printers, 3D scanners, laser engravers. Um, really a do-it-yourself creative type of place. And so you can see they also have resin printers. Um, they have different things on sale. So I'm using an Ender 3 S1, which I find is a great printer uh, if you're looking for one. Uh, Micro Center actually even puts it on sale sometimes for 200 if you have one near you um, in the U.S. But uh, you can also get it from Creatality's website. And then there you can see a little uh, 3D scanner. So 3.5 million users, 5 million cumulative shipments, 530 patents. Now the item that we're using, and you can see different items there, is the laser module. So it comes in a 1.6 watt, a 5 watt, and a 10 watt. The higher the wattage, the more you can cut, or the more you can, deeper you can engrave, and the more materials. So I have the 10 watt unit here, which retails for $200. I think it's $209 on Amazon. Um, 0 0.06 millimeter precision, fast, um, quick calibration, one button. Um, you can see some different projects here that people have made using laser cutters. Um, it just really, it looks like a great, fun product. And you can see the video off to the right there, and the images are from their site. So the video is actually a full installation video that they have already. Um, so that's a good one to check out if you want to look into this and how it works. And, you know, push button operation, calibration. It, you can use free software laser GRBL. Um, is free software to use, or you can use paid software Lightburn, which has a little more advanced features and things that you can do with it. Um, but yeah, there's different tests. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Let's get this installed um, and let's see what we can do with it. So uh, stay tuned. Look for more videos. Um, definitely going to be an install video and a, uh, a project video. Got some ideas. Love it. Thanks. Have a great one.